I see him, but he made puns while I was OY. Namaste, my friend. It is exceedingly happy you have made me, for I have had a chance to do a thing I love very much. This is a good thing. Thank you. There was a film I saw a long time ago. where one of the main characters was a known character, and every time he was talking to another character, the character would stir something with gnome in it and answer it with, of course, I know him, he's my brother.
neat. Apparently it also counts as stamina recover. What can I sell you? You think I'm made of money? I won't- We got a deal! Nice dealing with- Nice dealing with- You know. I wonder if this is the first instance of an RPG game that lets you have a configurable toolbar. Below was 1996.
This game was 1998. Hey look, it's an airship. Look more tree women.
We aren't consuming it, so I wonder if we needed so many. magic stick got. Why though? Magic wands in Japan are just called sticks. Oh man, we haven't saved in like two and a half hours.
Welcome, wizard, master of magic. I am the Sybil who sees what is to come. Hear now the future that fate brings you. Your way is darkened with blood and death. The first death you soon face is death itself. Embrace it or not, death shall drag you to its depths. Go willingly, and you will gain. The next death you face is one whose fate crosses yours. That which he cannot own, he would destroy. He will seek victory, even in his defeat. Seven deaths, and the dragon grows restless in dreamless sleep. Four posts that pinned it to darkness have been broken in blood. Three more shall be shattered with death. The last death shall awaken the dragon fully. New awaken, the dragon is weak. Each feel of fear and pain feeds it. Fix first the pillar, or it shall fly free. Death brought the dragon to life. Only death shall defeat it. One must give up life willingly before the dragon can die. Without sacrifice, the dragon is deathless. Your way is marked with death. Face it gladly, and your way is marked with glory. That is the fate that awaits you. Did we just pick up a CD-ROM? Today, we are having macaroni and cheese. Plain old macaroni and cheese. I gave the cooks the day off. They seem to sure have a lot of days off.
The soup for tonight is lobster brisk. Rover brought in a huge lobster. You have found some magical wood. Let us make you a magical staff, symbol of the wizard. Place the wood on the magical drum, please. Summon your new staff. We will notify Logos that you have completed the rite of destiny. The web of the future is woven, and few dare to face what the fates have sown. One man has looked upon his future. The Prince of Shapir knows now what lies before him, for better or for worse. Thus ends the rite of destiny. I have said before that a ruler must be willing to face death for his kingdom. A king must be willing to go through hell if that is what it takes to make certain Silmaria is safe. You too must enter the depths of death. You must open the gates of the underworld. You must face the fearsome guardian of the dark reaches, Cerberus. 
you must journey downward to the very center of the abyss. Enter the realm of Hades. Find the river Styx, with which even gods swear oaths of binding. Return from this infernal land with the water of the Styx to swear your honor and valor. This is the rite of courage. I think this is an oversight in the game, Dezing. What they should have done is have the weapon sheathed. Hello, Liz. Running on fumes, I think. Good to see you again. Oh, Black Lotus. Pretty. I've always wanted to gather one of these magic flowers. I'll get right to work adding it to my poison cure pills. <laughs> That's homeopathics for you. If only they knew. So for those who don't know. Homeopathic medicine contains no medicinal ingredients. You can in fact inoculate yourself from it working not believing in it hands. Put two and two together.
Black Lotus comes up a lot in fiction with poisons. Like Final Fantasy XIV and what was that other game? Even looking it up just brings up Blade Runner. Any. Poison Flower Supplot, not original. Anyway, in the last decade or so, you mention homeopathic medicine, and you will get the atheist skeptic people come up and tell you that it's nothing but sugar pills. It's all fake. It works entirely on the place bow effect. Those are the kinds of people who will not only spoil a movie, but will pick apart every inaccuracy in a fantasy genre. Welcome, friend, to all cut us. May that pin be ever the sign of friendship between us. There is a rumor that the last king of Silmaria was murdered. It is a very sad thing. Welcome and good... May your...
So far, Journey the only person ever who ever has rumors is the dogger. Oh, I am so excited. I have heard you have made a thing that flies, like the picture I painted, and that you have taken it far away. I only wish that I could see it. Wolfie, it's parked outside. Go look. I have been hearing many rumors of some very nasty prophecy which is supposed to be coming true. It is something about a big lizard that ate Atlantis and is going to be eating all of us. Oh, I'm hoping that this story is not true. I would very much like to fly someday. I would be like a bird and fly away south for the winter, except that my homeland is to the east and I would be flying there. You must have had a very fine time in your flying machine, I am thinking. I hope that you will have as much fun on your next quest as on this one. Greetings go with you. You've got a girlfriend. I thought we were going steady, Freddy. Are you trying to make me jealous? Why? I cook for you, I clean up after you, and what thanks do I get? You drop me for a girl half my age and twice my height. That's gratitude for ya. My heart is broken, you two-timer. I bet you flirt with all the girls. True. She sent you a box of chocolates. A big, big, really big guy came in and handed me a note that said, Candy Graham for Hero. The other side said, Love, Elsa. I put it in your room. Hey, look, it's that hot pink chocolate again. Full-size ones.
Good to see you again. Thanks. I bet this will really hit the spot for the late night munchies. Oh, then I guess they give me the munchies instead of fixing them. <laughs> That's not so good. I'll have to check these things out. I'll let you know what I learn about them. You're really planning to do this one, aren't you? The only one that will win this right is Hades. I've risked death in my time, but I've never opened its jaws and walked right in. I'm not that stupid. You're a dead man if you go to Hades. All rivers run to Hades, I hear tell. You find where the river runs with blood, and you can open the gates to the underworld. You're always welcome to enter in, but you'll never get out again alive. That's according to the legend. This is also not the only Sierra game to go there. That's two Sierra games telling you to go to heck. It's been nice doing business with you. Hades? That's one place I've never wanted to visit. My buddy Orpheus went looking for his wife there once. He was never quite the same afterwards. On the way to Hades, he met Cerberus, the three-headed dog of the underworld. Orpheus charmed him with a song, but then Orpheus charmed everyone. Orpheus almost drank from the river Lethe, which makes you forget all worries and rest peacefully. But Orpheus was goal-oriented and wanted his wife back from the underworld. Didn't get her out, though. According to legends, all streams and rivers that run into the earth flow all the way down to Hades. To open a path to Hades, pour blood mixed with water into the hole. Then you gotta chant something or other, but I never learned the words. Never really intend to go there, you see. Yeah, so in King's Quest sit. You can go there on purpose. I don't know about this game yet.
But in six, you go to the underworld to go find someone. Also famous adventurer here referenced Orpheus in the Underworld. The original is Orpheus and Eurydice. You can look at Wikipedia entry if you want to know the mythology. But basically, a reference to music bits. They are really making you work for this rulership, right? You'd think they didn't want you to come back from Hades. That's what I'm thinking. You got the nerve to brave the bowels of oblivion and dally with death, my friend? Good luck. You're sure gonna need it. The Archmage Erasmus has been drugged. No one has been able to bring him out of his sleep. I tried many spells to awaken Erasmus, but he remains asleep. I don't understand what is going on here. Why harm Erasmus this way? It bothers me greatly that I cannot seem to do anything about this situation. I do not like feeling helpless. Erasmus seems to be sleeping peacefully, but he cannot be awakened. 
Neither my spells nor Julinar's healing have had any effect. If Fenris were not there to help him, Erasmus could very well sleep himself to death. Fortunately for Erasmus, Fenris cast most of the household spells himself. Fenris is very upset, but he can keep the house afloat as long as Erasmus is alive. Fenris does not want to think what will happen if Erasmus does die. Fenris suspected that Erasmus was drugged when Erasmus fell asleep in the middle of drinking tea while playing a magical game. Erasmus loves games and is a keen competitor, so Fenris knew something was wrong with the tea. Fortunately, Fenris prefers root beer. I prefer root beer too. Dr. Pepper, that was my favorite. Poor Erasmus fell asleep playing video games. Be careful. There are many forms of danger, and some may be as innocent in appearance as a cup of tea. Farewell. How's your day, Jose? You know, we could make a great couple. You've got beauty, brains, and brawn, and I've got, well, a good sense of humor. Hey, it could work. It's funny, honey, how I'd love to be with you. I've got this thing for you. I'm really into this, in Thank you. 
guy. When are you coming over to my place? Oh, I forgot. This is my place. It's funny, honey, how... Yes, her name is Anne Agram. The soup for tonight is lobster brisk. Rover brought in a huge lobster for dinner, but Messy Tessie couldn't bear to drop the lobster alive into the boiling pot, so the cooks decided to get the lobster drunk first. Soon they were all singing Little Brown Jug with the lobster singing harmony. While Tessie was reaching for the barrel of beer, she knocked over the flower, which soon covered everything. So they gave the lobster a bath and a group hug for being such a good sport and turned him loose. Then they made the soup from his bath water. <coughs> Soup from a lobster bath. Today's treat is goop soup with cabbage. It was supposed to be spaghetti and meatballs, but Rover threw a cabbage at Tony Maloney and it fell in the sauce. Then Tony threw the meatballs back at Rover, but Rover dodged them and they hit Sal instead, so she dropped all the spaghetti. That wouldn't have been a problem, but Tessie slipped on the spaghetti while she was carrying the carrot salad, so that went everywhere. When they looked around, everything was mixed up, so they picked up what they could salvage and put it all in with the sauce and cabbage. They just added some water and salt and voila! A meal you won't find anywhere else. <laughs> Oh, friend of my people, it is always a pleasure to see you. What can I remember the days? They say that after the king died, people wanted to make logos, the centaur, rule. May your day be filled with pleasures and surprises, O oh prince.
May your mouth be May your mouth Forgive me, but I must feed that is very good. May your mouth be charmed. May your Check this out. I took that black lotus you brought me and mixed just a little pinch into my poison cure pills. Now they're cosmically attuned to that poison and will homeopathically shut it down. I'll just swap these for any of the old poison cure pills you still have. You might want to get some more of the new ones just in case. You have helped many here. I thank you on behalf of those you have helped to heal. I am happy that Salim has managed to find an antidote to the assassin's poison. Perhaps we can now start to turn the tide back to the cycle of life from that of death. I had heard of the fabled Black Lotus, but did not truly credit its existence until you brought it here. Somehow, the assassin found the lotus as well, and used it in his foul poison. Selim has been able to prepare new poison cure pills using the black lotus you brought to us. One cannot stop a truly deadly poison without some of the poison itself. Go forth with care. There are other dangers about than the assassin's poison. Thanks! Okay then, let's stop for now then. I don't know how much is left in the game. The walkthrough I have been using to make sure I'm still on the Sterling is about 80 through it. I'll probably come back at 9. Want me to raid?
see you 12 hours from now. Alright, 